It's the fuel that gets us out of bed and gets us going throughout the day. But as a new exhibit in Bradenton shows, coffee has fueled history. SNN's John Woodruff takes a look at the bean loved around the world. I drink my coffee black in the mornings with cream and sugar. Mocha frappuccino. You can make it a million ways. And people have been brewing it for centuries. There's a whole history of it being a very influential aspect of the exploration of the world. As South Florida Museum curator Matthew Woodside tells it, the story of coffee is a long one and far-reaching in scope. It gave rise to the exploration and the colonization of all kinds of countries. Um, and today, of course, it's a huge commodity. It's second only to oil in terms of uh, its impact uh, on the global economy. A rich history still celebrated with the coffee-making process in Ethiopia. It's very ceremonial, it's very spiritual. Uh, it's a little different than the way we go about it, of you know, putting some grounds into Mr. Coffee. Bruce Blowers visited the exhibit to see reminders of the 37 years he spent in Papua New Guinea, where java beans have shaped the Highlands economy. They saw that it was a viable crop, and so it's, uh, it just spread all around in the Highlands. No matter how you drink it, I like uh, milk and sugar in it. Next time you pour some coffee, remind yourself the whole world is in your cup. Reporting in Bradenton, John Woodruff, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Visiting coffee, the world is in your cup, is included in your admission to the South Florida Museum, and the exhibit will run in the East Gallery through August 29th.